What is going on everyone? Mr. Mom Collectibles, I am back with another video. And today's an, a continuing series of pros and cons where I take a figure or a topic and give you three pros and three cons of that. Now my previous two videos, if you guys haven't checked those out yet, I did the pros and cons of Iron Man Hot Toys and the pros and cons of Spider-Man Hot Toys. We're gonna continue that trend today and we're gonna be picking another Hot Toys character that has had multiple versions made we're gonna do a pros and cons list. And we are gonna be looking at the Dark Knight himself, uh, Batman. Now, uh, before we get into the video itself, please consider dropping a like on this video and subscribing to the channel if this is in fact your first time and you enjoy the content, that'd help me out so much. And more importantly, drop a comment below and let me know what your pros and cons are to Batman Hot Toys. And let's get into the list, guys. All right, everybody, so we're going to get into the pros and cons list. My first pro is going to be that Hot Toys has made a Batman uh, figure of almost every actor that has portrayed the Dark Knight. Um, you have Adam West, who I do not have here, but you do have also Michael Keaton. You do have Val Kilmer, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck, Robert Pattinson, which I don't have that one on order either, the newest Batman. So Hot Toys has made a version of the character almost. We're only missing one which is George Clooney. And I know a lot of people kind of hate on George Clooney for his portrayal of the character, but you know what? At this point, I welcome Hot Toys making a George Clooney Batman just for the fact that uh, you know it will give us a complete collection of all the actors that have portrayed uh, Batman on the live screen. And that's something that's pretty cool because, like I said, there's been so many actors that have taken up the mantle. For Hot Toys to make uh, figures of all of them, that's pretty cool. So that's my first pro. My second pro is going to be Shelf Presence. Uh, and what do I mean by that? I mean, basically, you know, even if you don't get every single Batman, every single figure, I think it just has immaculate shelf presence, whether it's the DX-19, the DX-9, the BVS Batman, maybe not this one, just kidding. The Val Kilmer suit, which a lot of people were optimistic about, which is really awesome. Even the Nightmare Batman, even the Tactical Suit Batman has its, you know, its pros as well. So for me, I think it just has really commanding shelf presence. Um, it's an iconic character. Everyone pretty much loves Batman. And you don't have to have every version of it. Even if you have one of these figures, I think that it has really commanding shelf presence. So that's my second pro. My third pro is going to be from a financial standpoint, is that you can actually get them at a really good price. Um, whether it's on the aftermarket or it's at retail, these figures are not Iron Man figures. They don't retail for typically four or $500. You can get these for 300 or sometimes below, even if you're chasing them on the aftermarket. Um, you know, Batman kind of fluctuates pretty much where you can get really good deals on him, which allows you to actually pick up more versions of the character. Um, like for me, I'm on the lookout for the Michael Keaton Batman Returns. That is an older one. So that one, you know, there are some uh, rare ones that do command value. Like, that, that's the reason why I don't have that guy. But I think typically overall, like the you know the sonar suit, you can get pretty good. The Batman Begins, you can. They just came out with a BVS Batman 2.0, which is something that you can jump on. Um, the DX9, I mean, they have the new Batman 89 that's coming out, so you can get him at retail. And you also have the DX19, which I believe is still available in a lot of places. And you also have the, uh, the Nightmare 2-pack. So a lot of these figures here, you can get either in 2.0 form or at, you know, at retail cost. So that's going to be my, my, third, um, my third pro in terms from a financial standpoint is that they actually are pretty feasible to obtain, which allows you to get multiples if you want. All right, so now we're going to get into the cons of the figure. Uh, my first con should be pretty obvious. Well, two of them are going to be pretty obvious. My first one is the posability. Uh, overall, Batman sucks at posing. He really is. Um, whether it be because you don't want to damage the suit, like the sonar suit, or, you know, the DX9 because it's all rubber, whatever it may be, or the BVS Batman, you know, or the DX19 just has restriction, or the tactical suit Batman has major restriction. Um, whatever that case may be, he's not a posable figure. He just really isn't. Hence why, supposedly, uh, two new figures that are coming out, the BVS Batman 2.0, and the Batman 89, and as a matter of fact, also the Batman modern suit from The Flash. It seems that they have acknowledged the posability issues because they are touting on all three of those figures that you're supposed to have better range of motion when posing. So I think Hot Toys is kind of acknowledging you know, that is a, an issue. Almost every Batman you see in people's collections are museum poses, such as you see here. Um, but that's my first con in terms of that is posability. 
My second con is something that affected this Batman Begins, it affected this DX9, and it affected the BVS Batman. And what that is, the, cus the uh, custom capes. All three of those figures have custom capes by various people. But that's another con, is that the Batman cape overall, it sucks also. Whether it's too long, it's too short, the material's not right, should, you know, wire, drape, whatever the case may be. Uh, if you're getting a Batman figure, pretty much 9 times out of 10, the, if you're going to do one single mod to the figure, it's going to be getting a cape. Uh, the DX9, for example, people know the cape on that stock is horrendous by Hot Toys. That's a custom cape, drape cape right there, which just sets the character off. This is a Batman Begins drape uh, velvet cape as well, because this came with a wired one that just sucked. Uh, the BVS Batman, that's a drape cape as well, because the material that they made was just like paper. Um, and people even customized the DX-19, either to get a shorter cape or to get one made from a different material. Whatever the case may be, pretty much 9 times out of 10, if you're buying a Batman figure, you're getting a custom cape eventually. Maybe not right away, but eventually. I know with the Robert Pattinson Batman, people are you know hoping that there's going to be cape customizers out there doing that one. Because as of now, that one's like paper thin from what I understand. And it's really not everyone's ideal cape. So that's another Batman subjected to the second con, which is the uh, the cape issue and my third con which might be an interesting one some people may not consider it a con but nevertheless it is one for me because i love batman is the um, availability of batman he's not like an iron man he's not like a spider-man where you can pretty much guarantee they're going to put out those figures you know multiples a year with different variations of the suits or you know go there's so much uh, source material to make because there's a lot more Marvel movies. You know, the reality is, you know, with Batman, you might get an original and a 2.0, that's it. Like this 89 Batman, you're going to get this one and then you're going to get the upgraded Batman that's coming out this year. That's it for Michael Keaton. Yes, we're getting a modern suit, but that just happened to be because he was in the Flash movie. But like this DX19 is a, you know, that's a, a 2.0 or 3.0, whatever that is. And we're getting another one in the armory. But outside of that, you know, there's not many new Batman movies coming out. Yes, we have Robert Pattinson coming out, you know, the new Batman in another year, year and a half. And then we don't know what's going on with DC. So Batman's kind of left in turmoil. Um, we did get a 2.0 of, you know, of um, Ben Affleck's Batman. But at the end of the day, the, the Batman character, when it comes to Hot Toys, you don't really know when you're going to get another one. Um, at this point, it's really much just going into the vault and pulling out old stuff. It's, He's not a, a betting chance like he is with an Iron Man. You can pretty much bet your bottom dollar that Iron Man, you know, Spider-Man, you're going to get multiples of those figures. Um, but unfortunately, in Batman, I really can't put a short bet that you're going to guarantee to get another Batman anytime soon. So if you're in the market for one and you don't have one, I mean, there's no time like the present to jump on potentially getting one. Like I said, guys, this is my pros and cons list. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video. Please consider subscribing to the channel if this is in fact your first time. And as always, drop a comment below. I, I know there's definitely more pros and cons out there of Batman Hot Toys. So let me know about it in the comments. Let's get a conversation going. And until then, this is Mr. Mom Collectibles and saying take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.